and welcome to Nobby Clark's slow descent into madness. Um, still on lockdown, so I thought I'd take the time and knock up a quick ultralight backpacking table for you. Could not be simpler. Easiest thing in the world, in fact. So what you're gonna need, a bit of string, some Velcro from the pound shop, something to mark with, a straight edge, and a bit of Corex. Now Corex, you can, oh, and a pair of scissors. Corex is cheapest chips you can buy in this sort of size. As I'm using, it's an old battered advertising board that has, can no longer be used. Or put your house up for sale, cut a square out of their advertising placard, take your house off the market. No one likes estate agents. So, I will turn this into a table you can watch, you can follow along, or you can just ease your boredom by looking at some fat lad make a bit of kit that he's probably never gonna use because I've already made a load of them. Hey! Right, so what we're we gonna do, sizings on this really do not matter. So I'm just gonna cut this off here to give us a sort of square. Doesn't matter if it's straight or neat or anything like that, you can always titivate after you've made it. Right, that we can use later. What we need to do now, you take your string, you get it to the width, fold that in half, like so, get your pen, pull that tight, and that will now mark the center of your board. Take this straight edge. The good thing with this Corex is it has lines already running down. Now, it could mean that you're one line over either way. Won't really matter a great deal, to be honest with you. So you line up your straight edge. Oh, and I've buggered that straight away. And then you fold that up like so. So when that sits down, that is half of your table. Now what you want to do, you can either divide this in half again, or if you want a wider table base, as long as you're coming down the same amount each side, it will be even. So what I'm going to do is use a pen lid to give me a line either side. Straight edge can go across there like so. Pop that up. Straight edge can go along the other side. Again, if I flip that round, it might help. There like so. There we go. Fold it over again. So now what you have is a table that is folded almost symmetrically. That one there could be a bit tighter, which is no problem at all. So that folds flat. Now what you need to do is find out the width of your table. And you need half of that again, plus about an inch. Down the legs, each corner, so that that can fold underneath and meet in the middle. Once again, you don't need to be too accurate. So I will mark on there the lines. Like so. Add about an inch. And 
and then I'm just going to cut down these seams to that line. Forgive me, next door's dog is barking. And I can't odds that. Flip it over with the straight edge. Oh, sorry. With the straight edge, go to the edge of the cut and fold up like so. Same the other side, fold up like so. Where are you? About there, fold up. About there, fold up. Just a slight bit of trimming here. I didn't cut it perfectly straight. That'll do for now. So now what will happen is, these will fold over, they will overlap there and there, enabling the tape to stand up. So, take your Poundland Velcro, cut two bits, boom and boom. On this side, Peel the self sticky bit off, place on, lovely jubbly. When that then goes in, peel off the other sticky bit. And stick to there. Guess what you do the other side? Peel that bit in. Stick it on. Bring that over. And stick it on. Now when you look, you've got a nice sturdy table. Oops, there you go, that's something in it. Now, as you can see, the further over you get, it can get a bit tippy. All I'm gonna do is trim these edges a little bit if you've got more than one thing on there of any weight then you're fine but you can see how much it holds so i'll just trim that now don't tell the wife Shh. So, there we go. Your cup can now sit right on the edge, not gonna go anywhere. You've got enough space for a cooker, whatever you need. And then when you're done, unfold them, unfold those, fold in the middle, elastic band around, goes in your backpack. Weighs nothing. When you arrive at camp, it is literally that quick and that simple to set up. So, there we go. Really quick, really simple, really lightweight to make. Easy to carry, very sturdy. Forgive the noise, you know, we're all in lockdown and I can't escape the children. Um, I have really tried. So, basically a five minute craft. You saw how quick it is to knock up. I've used mine, because I've made a couple now, I've made a fair few now, um, out on my walkabouts, my travels, and they work brilliantly. So. There you go, Nicholas State Agents Bald, Corrick.
Corex, whatever it's called, is a couple of quid from place like Staples, even though that's not around anymore, but you get the gist, you can buy it off Amazon, etc, etc. Really good, really simple, collapsible table. Much like the Cascade one you see, which isn't expensive to be honest with you, but obviously it's a damn sight more expensive than a quid for a bit of Velcro, which is pretty much all I paid for. See you on the other side of this lockdown, where I'll be using it up on the hills, hopefully. Ta-ra! Right, these tables are absolutely fine to put a hot cup of tea down with. Um, what you can get is you can buy a mat for soldering if you want to put your stove on there. Obviously, they are made of plastic, so if it does get too hot, you can land up in a bit of bother. If you put one of these mats down, you'll see them all over the place, soldering mats, I think they're called. Then you can put your stove on top and you're golden, unless you're burning hexamine tablets straight on top of it. But if you're doing that, you're pretty much beyond help. <laughs>